How much is your time worth and should you delegate tasks based on your dollar per hour, right? So for example, my cleaning lady, she gets paid, I think about $20 an hour and my attorney gets paid somewhere in the neighborhood of, I think he's $425 or $450 an hour. And you know, that's where you have to decide as an individual what your time is worth, right? So if you get paid significantly higher than the task that can be done. So what I mean by that is if you get paid $500 an hour and you can pay a cleaning lady $20 an hour to clean your house, then why are you the one cleaning your house? You need to free up more of your time because time is a non-renewable resource. You'll never get that time back. And you can always free up your time to focus on more important things. Because if you're busying and bogging yourself down with things that don't really matter in life, then you're just limiting the amount of potential that you have. So if somebody else can do it, delegate it. And especially if the person that is doing it costs significantly less than your time, that is a task that you need to delegate. So that's how I personally make the decision on whether or not I delegate a task or I do it myself, right? But let's say if there's a welder that charges $2,000 an hour or something crazy like that, and it's an easy weld, then I'm gonna try to do that myself because I don't get paid $2,000 an hour, at least I think I don't anyway. But th that's really the dividing line there. So when you're trying to figure out if you should hire somebody to help or if you should do it yourself, realize what your time is worth and how much value you put on that time. So you have to assign a dollar amount to the hour that you put in for that specific time. And if that dollar amount is greater or less, that's where you can make the decision yourself on if, if you should take on that task or not.